Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lauren's Scrap Lot and my unveiling of my new cut and emboss machine. So if you guys didn't know, we have officially received word that our large size cut and emboss machine will be available for purchase September 1st. So I had the chance to pre-order it and it arrived this morning right as I was getting my little boys up. So I don't know if you saw my post, but I was asking if I should feed them breakfast or just come up and play, and I decided to be a good mom. So we're going to unbox my little machine now, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys in the catalog. It's on page 170. You'll also notice we have a mini cut and emboss machine. This one is not available yet, and we haven't been given a date as to when that will arrive, but the hopes are that it will be here very shortly um because they were supposed to be released around the same time but covid has kind of slowed everything down with manufacturing and i do before i show it to you just want to give you a little information about this machine so the design itself is purely stampin up we did partner with Sizzix to work on the internal workings. So if you're wondering why it maybe does look like some of the current models that are out, that's because the inner gears, they, um, they were worked on and purchased from Sizzix, but uh, that does give them license to do, um, you know, the same thing with their technology as we are. Um, but Stampin' Up! has kind of stepped up their game and given us just a beautiful machine. So I want to show you our previous Big Shot machine first. Um, many of you own this guy. So it's this black machine. You could have also purchased it from other uh, companies like Sizzix and they have like a pink model and stuff. So it's great. It's nice and sturdy with a handle, but it has just a solid platform and base for you to use along with platforms. So you will quickly see why I'm so excited about the new machine once we put it together because it in fact folds up and will store in a space about this big compared to my space that is currently being used that's this large. So I'm so excited for that feature and I'm sure I'll have many other features and bonuses to show you along the way, but let's get digging, okay? So first in our box, we're gonna come out with some platforms and we'll probably dig into those later. I think I'm just gonna set that aside for a second and bring out the machine because I know that's what you all want to see first. So I also have a little baggie that comes separately with my handle, a screw to attach it, a little knob and an Allen key. Okay, don't lose those bring out your machine and it's nicely wrapped here for you. So this is what I meant when I said it is so compact and the mini machine will be even smaller than this. So can you imagine just setting this into a shelf? It's going to be great. So let's attach my handle. On the side here you're going to see a silver knob. That's right where your handle's going to fit. I think. Maybe I should have cheated and done this ahead of time. Okay. Grab my screw. I'm going to need that. You also have a please read these instructions before assembling the machine. So if we get stuck, we'll, we'll read those. But here we go. Got a nice little screw and a washer. And those we always want to make sure go inside this little space here. Okay. Guys should fit. Hold on. Now we're having fun. Oh, we're lining up. Okay, hold on. There's a little nub right on the top of my handle, and there's a little section that's not rounded. There's mostly round, and then one flat section. So I think we want that one flat section to line up. There we go. And then here's my Allen key. So you guys just watch me, and then you know exactly what to do. All right, Allen key, screw that guy all the way in. And just a little tip, I never get rid of my Allen keys that come with my Big Shots because I find over time, sometimes this little screw will loosen. And so you're just going to want to stick this in a drawer so you have it. And in, in case you need to, you can always attach it back. Good morning to everyone who's watching. And then this little plug here, again, there's a little notch in one of the button sides, I notice. And there's a little notch 
inside one of my parts of the handle. You won't be able to see it that well, but just try to line those two up before you do anything. And that nicely hides your screw. Okay, let's open this baby up. So my nice handle, I've got little finger grooves here that I could lay my machine flat. So I'm going to turn it this way because I want to actually use it and show you some things. So you won't be able to see my entire space, but hopefully you'll see enough. Okay, so when we've opened up our little package of goodies, we've got an instruction manual that kind of goes through a bunch of the different features. So attaching the handle, I probably should have read and it would have told me that I need to, you know, look for that little groove. And then popping the uh, platform pieces down and we're gonna go over the sandwiches. I'm gonna tell you what those are all for. This also tells you that you have a three year limited warranty on your machine. So limited means they're not going to replace it if you've put something through like a screw and it's wrecked your <laughs> machine. They're gonna replace it though if a part is faulty, if their um, you know, platforms aren't fitting properly, something like that. All right, so this is our board number one. And if you'll notice, we now have numbers on our boards to tell us how to sandwich things. So there's pictures on some of them. And just like we have on our other machine, it's gonna tell you to use board one, two, and three when you're using thin dies. And here it's gonna say use platform one and three when using the standard embossing folders. So those are just the thin little embossing folders like we're used to. We've also recently been starting to get 3D folders. So if I hold both of these up, hopefully you can see the difference in thickness. This 3D folder is going to use platform number four. Okay, so like I said, all you need to do is to refer to your plates and those will tell you the order of pieces that you need to use. Now, just one little note, many of us have Big Shot plates from our previous Big Shot machines. They will all work in this machine as well. However, they won't come with the little numbers, okay? Those are only gonna come when you order new machine uh, pieces from Stampin' Up! but you can still use your other ones. You can use all the dies that we have had before. You can use all of our old embossing folders, okay? So if you own the Big Shot, everything you can use in it currently, you'll be able to use in this machine now. This one is pretty equivalent to the Big Shot. The only difference in our new machines is gonna be the mini one. We've got some little folders coming out like this. Can you see the difference in size? These mini folders will fit in our new machine. They're nice and skinny. The big ones won't because the mini is intended to be a nice portable uh, machine for you just to whip through projects. You'll fit a great many of our dies in it still, but the big, like full size ones will only be able to be used in this new machine or your old Big Shot. All right, let's get playing. So let's first experiment with a thin die. So I'm gonna grab my platform number one, check, number two, and that would go on top. And then I'm gonna sandwich with number three, okay? So as usual, we always put one of our plates on the bottom, like so. Can you see that? There we go. And then we're gonna grab a die so I chose, I'm just gonna play with this arranger wreath bundle because I'm already planning ahead to my classes. So I'm just gonna grab one of the detailed ones because I kind of want to see how that turns out. Put that on our platform and the uh, die side, we're gonna put the metal pieces down. And then let's just grab a couple other pieces for the heck of it, maybe a couple flowers here because I can fit that in the middle. And we'll try one of these open shape ones too, okay? So I just grabbed a few at random and then we're gonna sandwich number three in there and roll through. Oh, that's nice and snug. So it's snug, I can tell it's working. And, ooh, look at this. It's already popping out like crazy. Okay, here we go. So here were our two 
flat shapes, the little eggs. This is my detail die. Look at that. One pass. No little pieces stuck in there. That's beautiful. And then this was that middle piece that's going to go in the garbage now. And there's my flower. So this is gorgeous. Look how easy that was and how quick it is to get my detail dies through. So I'm excited because we have a lot of detail dies that take a lot of time usually. All right, let's keep playing. So we're going to grab now, we're going to use a standard embossing folder. Okay, so this is platform number one. And then we're going to sandwich it between our two number three plates. Now, suggestion for you guys, since you're starting brand new, I'm going to order myself a new set of plates right away. So I have a second one. And I'm going to use one for embossing and one for die cutting. So that when I'm die cutting, my plates tend to get a little warped sometimes. Also, FYI, I'm going to take a Sharpie and write top and bottom so that I'm always using the same platform for the bottom of my cutting. So then this one actually is going to stay nice and clean and be nice and flat. But what I also want to do is have a second pair that I'm going to use for embossing folders. Right now I won't for today because I don't have them. But it's going to help your, um, your plates have a little bit more life. And chances are you're just going to end up having to throw this one away sooner because it's going to get chopped and cut upon. And you'll be able to get more life out of your other plates. So that's just a little something I'm going to implement now that we're starting fresh. But put your number three down. I've grabbed one of our thin embossing folders. So this is our new snowflake embossing folder here. I'm putting a piece of paper inside. And I'm going to make a sandwich and roll this through. Woo! Hello! You are tipping over. I think I bumped you. There we go. Sorry about that. Stay still. Okay. So let's see how that worked here. Beautiful, as expected. All the detail is in that folder. Love it. And it got every single snowflake. So I'm so excited. I'm going to start playing with these snowflakes because I'm going to use that as one of my options for my all-day retreat in October. So that'll be great. Okay, now the last thing that we can try is our 3D embossing folder. So instructions say use platform number one, check, and cutting plate number four. So this is going to replace that beautiful purpley one that we used to have. So they're the same if you want to just use your purpley one um, because it's beautiful, that's fine. But this has a nice number four and um, it does come with your machine. So you don't have to purchase it separately or anything. Now I had a 3D, there we go. Okay, so I have my Dainty Diamonds 3D folder here. So again, I've put a piece of paper inside that folder, closed it up. We're going to place this directly on the platform, and this four plate goes right on top. Okay. There we go. So, check this guy out. Doo -doo -doo. Oop, here we go. Open you up. Nice. That is beautiful. Super detailed, everything's in there, and no bending. So this I am super happy with. I am going to play with it some more, and I'm sure I'll have a few tips and tricks as I learn from other demonstrators what they're doing with their machines. But then when you want to close it up, just grab those, and you can set this right into a shelf. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting a little sneak peek as we played with this new machine and that you're excited to get your own machines. If you would like to order one in September, I'm also gonna offer you a little bonus that if you send me a note and the pre-order, I'm gonna give you a free mini Stampin' Up! trimmer. So those guys were exclusive only to demonstrators. We were able to purchase them 
um, but they're perfect for little scrap cutting and photos and all sorts of stuff. So if you purchase one of those from me in September, one of these machines, I will give you this mini cutter for free. Not this one, I've used it. I will give you a new mini cutter for free as a bonus along with the machine. But you can purchase this anytime. It's a great maybe Christmas wish list item. You could give your um, family members or spouse the heads up now that you want it and they can contact me and we'll just maybe try to order them as soon as possible because I don't know how many they have in stock and I don't want them to go on back order but um, you'll get it eventually but the sooner we order them the better so I will see many of you tonight please tune in at seven o'clock for our monthly club night. If you didn't order a kit, you're still welcome to join the video and I'll show you three fun projects um, that we're going to learn about tonight. I'll show you how to make them and if you ordered a kit, you'll be able to follow along with us as well. So I will see you guys tonight at 7 p.m. And just a reminder that the paper shares for the holiday catalog are still open. So check those out and uh, get me your orders so that I can place that order tonight and start cutting them as soon as they arrive. Talk to you guys later. Bye.